Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So the other day I asked my Instagram what videos they want to see, and I had three choices, I think, and the second one won, which was recreating my first makeup look. So when I first started doing YouTube, I wasn't doing it on myself, I was doing it on my aunt and um, my friend. And so then a lot of people were asking me to do it on myself, which I already was doing, just not on camera, because I wasn't like used to that. And then I posted my first ever makeup look on here, which is a boy tries to do makeup. It's my most watched video. And girl, that was complete clickbait because I know how to do makeup. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's why it's my most watched video. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be recreating that. And this is the look right here. Um, I'm gonna be reacting to it too and just saying things that I think are different than what they what I do now because it definitely is different, if you know what I mean. If you wanna see me recreate my first ever makeup look, then keep on watching. react to this okay so first thing that I noticed is that I don't have any mascara or lashes on and I didn't have lashes at the time I know when I did this I don't think I did so that would be the reason but I don't know why I don't have mascara I know that I own mascara I know that um the next thing that I'm seeing is that I didn't put anything on my lid so it's just blank I'm guessing it's just concealer there I don't know I see a little bit of water liner which I like but it's not that much because I was like probably just getting started and I had no idea what I was doing. So the next thing I don't see is highlighter, which I definitely will be applying a lot of because I love highlighter, but I don't know why there's none in there. Or there may be, maybe it just didn't show up. Um, but the lighting in it, but the lighting in this picture is so bad, so I literally don't know. And the way that the lip color is, I don't know. Like it's completely messed up and it's not like regular like I normally do it so we're good and I think that lipstick I actually threw away or actually gave away because it's not good so we're going to be using Jeffree Star today but anyway so we're just going to go ahead and get started I'm going to prime my eyes which I didn't do I don't think I just primed my eyes with concealer which really I don't think really works because it doesn't make the eyeshadows pop like an eye primer I'm going to be using the elf eye primer which is the like white one and then the morphe eyelid primer in translucent and I will be back to start this eye look Okay, so I actually have the palette that I used. This is probably, I don't know if this is expired. No, it should be good. It probably will have to be thrown out in a couple months, but um, this is the palette that I use. I actually got it in one of my boxy charms. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe. It's in Spanish, I believe, um, but Alamar Cosmetics, I actually have a blush from them, which I'm gonna be using today, but um, this is what the palette looks like right here. It's yellow, and then you open it up, and that's what it looks like. Um, at the time, that was when, at the time when I did this eyeshadow look, it was the trend to put, like, a blue on your lower lash line from when, um, Kim Kardashian released her, like, palette and everyone, like, wore blue or whatever. Yeah, that's why. Um, so I'm gonna just hop right into it, and what we do. The shade that I'm gonna use is the shade Coco Taxi, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna use that as a transition. Um, the palette doesn't have a mirror, which is why I never reach for it, because I just never like palettes that don't have mirrors. But yeah. I remember using this palette and it not being that good, but like, my techniques weren't that good, but so far that looks really, really good. It's definitely not, it's definitely not like full-blown orange-orange, but it definitely looks kind of, I don't know, similar to orange, but it's not fully. Running this in the crease is like a transition. From what I remember, I didn't really think this palette was good, um, but it's blending actually really, really nice. So like I said, all of our techniques changed and I was not, I did not know what I was doing, honestly. We never do, I mean, not saying like you're not good at makeup if you're watching this, I'm just saying we never know what we're doing like when we first, be, first start, you know what I'm trying to say, so we'll just see. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Tropico. I don't know how to say that, but it's this one right here. It looks kind of more, it's kind of like, ooh, I don't even, like a deeper, almost red, uh, orangey color. And it looks like I put that in the outer corner, so I'm just going to do that and put it like in the lower crease as well. So far, everything is blending amazing. No problems, really. I don't know why I didn't like this palette. I mean, I wouldn't say I didn't really like it, but I just never really used it. Yeah, never really used it. But so far, I really like the shade and the palette. Um, I used... I know we're not on that, but I used to love to use this shade La Costa, this one right here, for highlighter. It was so blinding, and at the time, I don't even think I owned a highlighter. That's why I like to use it. It's crazy how, like, times change, you know? Back in with the brush that I used Coco Taxi, I'm just going to blend that up a little bit more. 
and kind of like make an even transition between the darker shade and the lighter one. I know I didn't apply the shimmer in the look and this already looks 100% better like me, but I definitely am going to be cutting the crease and adding a shimmer, so I'm going to go cut the crease off camera and we'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the shade La Costa, which I said I really liked for highlighter, but I know this is like really, really good. I'm going to be spraying it with some setting spray. Also, I'm pretty sure y'all can tell that I dyed my hair. Um, last time I dyed it, and I don't think I put like a lot of um, hair dye in it. I didn't. I see my last video; it's up here, and you can like tell the difference or whatever. But honestly, I just I love dyeing my hair, but I just never do it because I dyed my hair for so long, and like that's the reason why I let it grow out is so that it could like get healthy. And then now I'm just dyeing it now, but I really really love it. I'm going back in with the second shade that I used and just blending into the cut crease. Um, I've always known to do this because it won't look blended and they always teach you that in like tutorials. They always teach you that in tutorials, so yeah, I kind of already knew that, but I'm just taking that and kind of blending it in. I think I'm actually going to be taking a little bit of this shade right here. I don't know how to say the name and I don't, I know I'll butcher it. Um, I think these are all Spanish, but I'm not sure. I'll be keeping this in like the outer corner area just to kind of like deepen it up a little bit nothing crazy okay so i'm back and i just did this eye off camera and i cleaned up the eyes which i couldn't do um in my last look because i did my base first um but now i'm going to be focusing a little bit on the base i'm not going to be focusing it on it a lot like my foundation really hasn't changed i've just switched over to what like which one i like i don't think last time that i used a good primer i think i used like a blurring one and i really like more hydrating ones so i'm going to use the no problem prime essence this is like really hydrating and when it sticks when it dries down, it gets sticky, which helps your foundation stick. So I really like this. It's almost like a serum, almost. And I just squirt some on and just let it drip and then blend it. And I really like my skin to look dewy and healthy. And I really love the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. And I'm in the shade 705, which I believe is the lightest shade. This is what it looks like. And I just love this. And I love to go in with a foundation brush. I like to use my Morphe X Derby Star. If you want to see me like demo these, they're up here. Um, and then go over it with a sponge, which I didn't use last time. I think I used, just used a brush. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to do that off camera concealer powder and like bronzer and stuff like that because that really doesn't change. Um, I just started using other stuff and I'll come okay, back. So now that my base is kind of done, I need to still apply blush and highlighter. But when I look at the picture, it doesn't look like I have blush or highlighter on, which is something that I normally do that would change, obviously, like I said. So that's the stuff that I'm going to do on camera. And I don't know why I didn't apply blush. It didn't even look like I applied bronzer either. Who knows, the lighting was terrible. So we're going to apply blush and highlighter. The same company that makes the eyeshadow palette that I use makes this blush, which we got in our Boxy Charm. And it honestly works really good. This is what it looks like right here. Um, they kind of like all look the same on camera, but they're really not. This one is more like really, really shimmery. And this one's kind of like dully rose. And this one's like orangey. Um, so I'm going to be mixing all three of them and applying blush. I like to do before and after highlighter. So yeah. I like blushes that are buildable and not just full on pigmented. So I really like these because you can go in really light handed or you can like keep applying. And it just gets really, really nice. And I like to apply some right here on my apples and my cheeks and kind of bring it like above the contour and some on the tip of my nose, the side. It's kind of like your sunburnt. Next, I'm going to apply highlighter and I know this looks kind of like a lot, but it, it dulls down. I'm going to be using the Sobe Rose Mist before I apply highlighter just so that it has something to stick to. I know that I did this um, when I first started doing makeup, so this isn't any different. The Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out. Her highlighter is just amazing. I've used this so much and I mentioned it in my Jean Motley favorites. Um, and I just really, really love this highlighter. Like, oh, look at it. Oh, yes. I like to go in with my blush brush with no extra product and just kind of like blend it a little bit more. Because sometimes the um, highlighter kind of removes or just like basically goes over top of it. So I like to just kind of like blend it in and make it like a little bit more subtle. Not so like even though it's still there. In the picture, I don't think I applied inner corner highlight, which I always do, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that and using the highlighter that I use on my face. I blend shades like really far up. I don't I like to apply that much brow bone highlight because it looks kind of weird, but I'm just gonna apply just a little bit. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna be putting um, these two blue shades right here on the lower lash okay, line. Okay, so I'm back and I just applied lashes, mascara, and something on my lips. I used the Shop Miss A Lashes in the Style A Lydia. And then I applied um, just Cosmetics Wifey Liquid Lipstick. And this is the completed look. Honestly, I think it looks so good. It's not what I would like normally do now. 
um, at all really because if I'm gonna do my makeup I like to be colorful unless I'm playing with like a specific palette but I really love this look and I think it looks a lot better than like what the other one uh, the original one did what do you think do they look similar oh, let me know which one do you like better I definitely like this one because I really like a lot of blush sometimes just like on the outer portion right here you can see it in a lot of highlighter and I like my lips to be overdrawn a little bit that's the completed look I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know don't forget to like this video I had a, such a fun time filming this because it just kind of like made me think back like when I first started makeup what I was getting into and all of that I had no idea how far I was gonna go honestly and just to sit here and say that I can like I really improved and I really really like doing makeup it's awesome and yeah if you want me to recreate any of my other old looks let me know and i will just let me know in the comments if you're seeing me don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so you get notified every time i upload a brand new youtube video i upload new videos every monday and friday sometimes a bonus video um but yeah don't forget to follow me on all of my social media so there's a little clip that plays at the end of the video do is pause the screenshot and i um always leave a link in the description to follow my makeup instagram if you want to do that this look will be posted on there so yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye